Hello there beautiful people and welcome back again to OnHow channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop them below in a comment. I would be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. And please be a witness for that because I made over 200 videos on Shopify customization. They were mostly requested by you guys, I mean subscribers. And I know some people are not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. I still make the video for them. So don't hesitate man, if you have any video requests or any questions, just drop me a comment below. I will be happy to provide you the information you need or even make a video for you. And yeah, you don't have to subscribe or maybe now you should consider doing so because if you don't, you lose. Now it's a very different chapter on this channel. I usually share small customizations, but now we'll be sharing complete sections and which is highly customizable to make a Shopify store very professional and very unique without having to pay for those expensive teams or paying those expensive developers or even worse, paying a monthly subscription for application that will have a widget or a section on your store is not a very good idea for long-term projects. But I give you a better deal. Scroll down to the channel, check out the videos and sections I'm sharing, and I'll let you be the judge and I respect your decision. But for now, let me show you how to show the discount sale badge on your Shopify store with the percentage on it, for, I mean the percentage for the discount, and also it's interactive and the badge will show up on the product cards, I mean on collections, as well as product page. And we will do this again by using our own custom code no applications involved here and of course you can customize the colors and so on i will show you how to customize the colors for the badge to make it unique to suit your shopify store and i also have some bonus tips for you and without any more talking let's just jump to it as you can see by the way this is shopify down team so every new chapter i start with completely new team nothing on it in each video i add small customizations but the video 60 or 70 the team will be completely different but now i think i reached that level halfway because as i said this is very different chapter on this channel for example, check out this all-in-one reviews carousel that will show reviews from Google, Facebook, Amazon, and Etsy all in one place and it's filterable. If I click on Facebook, only the reviews from Facebook and so on for Amazon and Etsy. Or even better, check out this recent sale notification that will show up on your Shopify store, completely customizable and by using your own custom code, no applications involved and highly customizable. You can customize the behavior for it when it should show up and for how long it stays open and to who to show up to new visitors or returning visitors and so on and many many videos just check out the channel you will see for yourself man i would quit now i promise so let me show you what i'm talking about so i would scroll down in the shopify store every little thing that you see in the shopify store has been done in videos so once i scroll down if you saw anything you like just check out the channel and you will see the video for already posted so let me scroll down to, to show you what i'm talking about oh yeah here it is Check it out. This is how it looks like, as you can see, and it shows the exact percentage for the discount. And no, you don't have to set the percentage manually for this product. This will work automatically. You just have to follow my steps to implement the code. Then it will do the job for all the products across all your Shopify store automatically. It will calculate the percentage by itself and display it this way. And I will show you how to change the colors as well. And let me show you how it looks like on the product page. So let me click on this product, for example. And here is, as you can see, and yeah, the percentage is different because it's different variant. Here is the variant that was selected on the product card. As you can see, it has this shine effect once I hover over it, and also it's interactive, it gets lifted a little bit. And by the way, every little thing that you see in the Shopify store has been done in videos, and all of them completely free. Yeah, all of these widgets, yeah, you see right now, all of them completely free on my Shopify tutorials as well as this best seller as you can see. But now, let me show you how to add this one right here. But before I do that, I need actually to reload the page because I already removed it. So let me reload the page. Yeah, as you can see, it's gone now. Just the normal boring sale badge. So the first thing you're going to do is, as always, access Shopify dashboard. After that, if you're already in Shopify dashboard, click on online store, then click on teams, then click on the three dots on left of customized and click on edit code because as i said we'll use our own custom code then after that it will take you to the code editor for your shopify team and in here we need to find a specific file instead of looking at the folders you might get dizzy use the search one at the top left corner right here and simply type in price and you will see this file right here price.liquid what is it here it is as you can see make sure to access this file right here price.liquid or actually why do i need to make sure Scroll down the description box and you will see a link from my website. Click on it and it will take you to this beautiful page right here. And after that, scroll a little bit down and you will see it here as you can see. Price, the call to find price dot liquid and copy this one right here. So copy the green code, the green line in here. Get back in here. Click on the price dot liquid. 
And after that, a bunch of liquid files will show up. Click on the code just like you want to write something. Then on your keyboard, if you are using Mac, sorry, if you are using Windows, because I know most people do, if you are using Windows, click on Control F on, on your keyboard, I mean. And I'm on Mac, I'm going to click on Command F, and it will show me this prompt right here at the bottom of the page. And this one will help us find that section and paste it in here, the code that you did copy from my website. Click on enter on your keyboard and it will be highlighted in here. As you can see, that was simple, right? After that, get back to the website, my website, then copy this code. To simply copy it, click on this icon right here on the right corner, click on it, boom, copy it. Get back in here and simply select the whole thing that we did look for. Make sure to select, let me zoom in on it. Here it is. Make sure to select the whole thing in here. But first, let me close this widget right here because we finished. So make sure to select the whole line in here. Simply remove it. And as I said, copy this code. Make sure to copy it from the right corner in here. Then get back in here and simply paste it instead of the line. I mean, in place where we remove the first code. Simply paste it in the line. Then click on the save button. Now the first step is done. The next step is click on the search bar we use to find this file. Then this time type in card-product. Just like you see, and you will see again this file right here called card-product.liquid. Click on it. And after that, a bunch of code will show up. Get back to my website. Then copy the second code that you're going to find. I did add everything here so you don't get confused. This one right here again, copy it. It's almost the same one and click again the code, same method, click on Control F, pass in the code here, click on Enter, and it will be highlighted on the code. Remove this line right here, the, the whole line, remove it, get back to our website, then copy the second code in here, copy it like this, then get back in here and place it where we did remove the first code. Click on the Save. Now the second step is over. The next step is, which is the last one, Click on the search bar just like you want to find another file again. And this time, again, I have to repeat this for the million time. It's going to be either base.css or team.css or style.css or custom.css. But mostly they use base. So try base first. Here it is, base. And simply click on it and a lot of CSS code will show up. Scroll all the way down. Let me drag this because it's a huge file. And after that, in here, at the bottom of the file, we need to create some, some space to paste in our code. And in case there is no code, simply click front of the last thing. My case is closing bracket. Then hit enter on your keyboard. Here we go. We have a new space to paste in our code. And where are you going to get that code? From our website, of course. So the next code is this one in here. And hold on. There is two types of this code. If you are a subscriber to my channel, and I did, you did implement the moving, let me get back so you can see, moving the title on top of the product pictures in the middle like this, you will need the, what is here? You will need this code. If not, if you didn't implement this trick, you didn't implement any of my tutorials, like for example, resizing the discounted price, then you need this one. Remove, uh, scroll all the way down and you will see without position adjustment and use this code right here. In my case, I did some adjustments to my uh, product page. So I did some customization. I will need this one. So again, this one is the normal one by default, the one at the bottom. Make sure to try this one first. If it works fine, happy for you. If not, use this one. Let me, uh, for me, I'm gonna use this one. So copy again the code by clicking on the icon, then get back in here and paste it on base.css. And again, I said I will show you how to customize it. That's very easy. Let me get back in here on the black screen so you can see. So you see this code right here. It says background and I added common actually so you can see. The values below this line are the badge's color. So uh, as you can see, it's a gradient color. You saw it's a gradient color. So the first one is the lighter color, which is white, a little bit between white and pinkish. The second one is almost pinkish. The third one is pink. Well, is it pink? Let me Google. I think it's pink, almost pink. Yeah, as you can see, it's pink. So if the gradient color, if you want to adjust the gradient color, simply adjust these. If you want a blue, like a gradient blue, strong blue here, uh, fade blue here, and almost no blue here, between blue and white here. And it will be fade like that. In my case, I'm gonna keep it pinkish because I like pinkish. Then click on save button, wait for a couple of seconds. Yeah, it's save it. Now we'll get back to the product and reload the page and see what that will do. And here we go again, the shiny, 
discount sale badge with the hover effect and the shiny interactive as you can see and pinkish color so you can attract attention and that's how you add the discount sale badge with the percentage on your product page completely free by using your own custom code lightweight and very customizable as you saw if you have any questions make sure to drop them below but for now i think my job is done so thanks for watching catch you on the next one